guys. How are you doing? Hope you are fine. Welcome back to my channel, Devashree's Passion. Guys, I hope you remember that I had started my own story series, The Missing Brooch. We had stopped at chapter 12, Behind the Door. If you guys haven't seen it, then the link is given in here. So guys, let us resume the story chapter wise. Today we are seeing chapter 13, Meeting Groove. So let us start it now guys. Be with me till the end for more adventures. Previously, we had seen that they had come to a series of lock and bolted doors and then one of the doors had opened using Evet's magical shape-shifting key that could open any locked door. That door that had the room belonged to Lizzie. She was the owner of the room. She was wearing a bright salwar kameez in which, in which it was embroidered Lizzie. There we had stopped. So today we are seeing chapter 13, Meeting Groove. Let us start it now. Lizzie eyed each of them to the corner of their eyes as if she was looking inside through them. And then she said, Hmm, I can read thoughts. I just know what you are thinking. You are thinking that am I I knowing the way to Dhruv's room or am I Dhruv myself just transforming and have the brooch? Nope. I don't know the way to Dhruv's room and I am not Dhruv. I don't have the brooch. But I do know a secret passageway that will let you to his room. Though I don't know his room's name. There might be a name but for now... Then, you had, then Lizzie clapped her hands three times and a secret passageway split open from one of the windows. Wow, there hadn't been windows at all, but secret passageways. There were small stairs leading towards the passages. Then Lizzie gently pushed them all and said, Go on, but beware. Dhruv, he might be a bit angry and now frustrated because half of his belongings are missing. Never mind that. And then Lizzie disappeared. After a while, they all found themselves in Dhruv's room. They refers to Rina, Anita, Sripti, Rahul, their pet cat, Pur, and EZ. Then they came to Dhruv's room. Wow! It was nearly, nearly not what they had expected. They just expected it would be one of those ancient caves with handprints of ash. What? Literally. But they saw that it was a king's room, prince's room. Well, after all, there were jewels and bags lying all around and there was a Big golden and emerald studded throne right at the far northern edge. They saw that the throne was empty except for a few ants crawling here and there. No sign of life. There were emeralds, glass, brass, gold, silver, diamond and rubies. The ceiling was made of crystal and the floor was studded with gems. Wow! Glitter rocks were also in the walls. Suddenly a voice boomed, which could only be Dhruv's voice. So, you have found me at last. Well, the search was not end here. You might be thinking that I am not there, but I am there. Then the jewels departed. To reveal a handsome man sitting on the throne. It could be Dhruv. He was not all that handsome. Looked like a prince. And he was definitely angry. There was a little frown on his face. But the best thing was, can you guess? 
he wore a star constellation crown what wow that would be a bit too, well shameful as a thief how did he get that star on his head never mind he was wearing a neon green and neon orange t-shirt with a cobalt blue trousers with big pointy little pockets stretching out the thing is that he look his eyes they look right through them like lizzie looked right through them his voice it was like a chaos had occurred somewhere and a man wanting to get rid of that chaos shouted om in between with such a loud voice that everyone too got down and said quiet like that then do you know what happened the weirdest thing happened a couple of butterflies came through an open window that was an open window in through's room then they split in two and more butterflies appeared similarly two dozen or so butterflies flopped around the roof then they disappeared through said Oh I must tempt people with my illusions sorry So this is where chapter 13 meeting Dhruv ends we shall meet with chapter 14 the next time we meet meanwhile you all guys enjoy my videos if you like this story series the missing brooch then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel devashree's passion for more such amazing videos of my other passions the links to my other videos are given in the description box tap at the bell icon for more notifications about my channel bye guys see you later bye